Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines on Turner Mountain. Today what we're going to do is build a massive harbor. So the entire harbor will be completed in three or four episodes because of the fact that it's really big and I want to put in lots and lots of detail. So this is actually the entire location we're gonna use for the harbor. I will extend it a little bit I think later on. The city of the harbor is really close to the city but not that close that yeah the city people will actually have um, a little bit of a problem with the harbor and it's also have a nice view of the entire bay. So without further ado what I'm probably gonna be doing right now is start up a time lapse and I'll see you guys after the time lapse. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we are back. So guys, if you guys enjoyed the time lapse, and what we got going on is a first look at one of the factories that is in the harbor. And it's actually a massive factory over here. As you can see, it takes up like, I think at least 20% of the harbor, if you're not counting this. But yeah, it at least takes up 20% of the harbor, and it looks freaking gorgeous. It's got lots and lots of detail, and I think this is one of my best builds ever. Because of the, yeah, the details and stuff, and... It just looks freaking awesome. I really like it. So let's get into it. So first of all, what we got is a dry dock. So as you can see, we've got like a small little dry dock, a couple of concrete areas to hold up the scaffolding. And it just looks a lot better with like, uh, yeah, with this instead of like having only a, a ship over here. It just adds a little bit to this entire factory over here. So because this factory is like repairing boats and therefore they need like oil, they actually need like a little bit of cargo and they're also selling like uh, parts and stuff and that's why, why we even got like free harbors over here they're not operating harbors because I used the movement mod to actually um, move them in a little bit so that's really unfortunate as you can see right here like there's no connection over here, I cannot even build a connection that's really unfortunate Otherwise, it would have been like uh, operational harbors and we had like, uh, yeah, cargo coming to this harbor. But what I want to do is I want to build this harbor up in like maybe two or three episodes. So at least we're going to spend two or three episodes in this harbor because it's going to be detailed. It's going to be massive. And we've got like lots and lots of detail in this small area as well. So this like, like I said earlier, one massive factory. We've got like a couple of uh, oil tanks. We've got like a small little garbage collection area. And of course some storage for like, uh, yeah, cargo storage. And the amount of detail I tried to put into this place, it is absolutely crazy. For example, take a look at this garbage collection area. We've got a couple of parking lots. We've got some parking lots for like the trucks as well. And of course we've got... Uh, markings to mark out where people can drive and where they cannot drive and overall it just looks really awesome I really like it it's really compact as well but still people can use it and we got like a couple of um, yeah like lines where people can drive on so if you want to go to this factory you need to drive all the way through here and you can actually enter this uh, vicinity and if you want to enter this vicinity over here, you probably can enter it via the yeah the main recycling storage center. But overall, like the amount of detail, it is actually crazy. We got like some new curbs, and I found these curbs on the Steam Workshop, and they're like upgraded because you got like um I've got like a couple other curbs as well. We got like the new ones. These are the old ones. So if you turn them, sometimes they become a little bit um yeah darker. And right now, I think, yeah, like this. This one is really blacked out, and this one's really, or grayed out, I should say. And this is actually the normal color, and they don't look that nice. And if I got, like, these large, larger curbs, they're not colliding. So, I can do something like this. I think they're even, like, a little bit higher as well, but it just looks awesome. Instead of, like, uh, using these old curbs, I use, like, these new ones. And you can, like I said, collide with them. And the markings at the end will actually, um, yeah, not be even visible. So that's a really good thing. And this is why I made this. It just looks a lot better with, like, these curves instead of, like, the old ones. Because these new ones just look a lot better. The same goes for over here. A little, um, yeah, walking area. So when people are actually um, going to work and they want to walk, they can actually use, like, this uh, path over here. And it's also a little bit of storage area. We even got a loading and unloading zone. As you can see it's marked off as well. And what I did is place a couple of props on this loading and unloading zone. Because like, yeah, trucks already have been there. And they just delivered their goods. And what I should add in those, maybe like a small little truck at this section. Because otherwise it just is so plain to look at. Okay, we're gonna, I want to place it in the middle. I think that just looks a little bit better. And what we also can do is play like small little uh, collection area. So he already loaded this off and he's on his way to actually uh, load some other stuff off again. But this is only like the garbage collection area. Then we got like the cargo area as well. It's all fenced off. It even got lights because this is or this cargo area should be operating 24 seven. So that's why I placed in the lights. I mean, these are the things you can actually uh, yeah, shut down. Maybe the harbor, I should place a couple of lights at the harbor as well. Because like, yeah, like I said, it's operating 24-7. So at least people should see what they are doing. 
So we're gonna go for like a small little lighting area. Something like this. So at least people know what they're doing. And at least uh, everything is lit up. Maybe like a couple over here as well. And like over here. Yeah, that should be fine. So like the harbor, the harbor area and the cargo area is lit up. So when people are working, they can actually work 24-7 even when it's dark. But let's move on to build another segment. What I want to do is build like another segment of like coal, iron and other things like that. So we're gonna start building that right away. I got something of the Steam Workshop. Uh, but actually will help with that. So if I type in coal over here, this is like the new uh, lookup mod and it is absolutely crazy. It just goes so fast and it will actually, yeah, make my workflow a lot better. So if I do this, if I type in, for example, iron, it's not loading, it's instant. So that's really awesome about this mod. So if I type in iron over here, you can see we've got like iron. Um, I can actually place them over here. So this this is basically what I want to use. These um, bulk storage of iron, of coal, uh, etc, etc. So we've got the bulk storage 3, we've got the bulk storage 1. I think there's like a 2, what I didn't download. But this is basically what I want to use for this entire project. And I would just want to have like a couple of rows of them. So, first of all what we need is a road that's actually straight. So I'm gonna use this one. Because this is like closest to the water itself. And then we're gonna have like a couple of lines, for example, something like this. Should it actually work without the lines? So we're gonna go for a little bit of iron. Or a little bit of coal that would work. Yeah, a little bit of coal would work uh, better because this like machine is turned and like the building itself is turned instead of like the iron. You can see it right now, I think. Iron. If I yeah, you can see like, oh, yeah the, yeah, the building is like opposite, like the building should be over here. With like the coal, it's over here and we're like with the iron, it's actually over here. So that's why it threw me off. But we're gonna go for a little bit of coal storage first. After that, some bauxite ore and maybe after that, some, uh, some coal as well again. So we're gonna go for something like this and I actually want to have like a little or not a little bit like a big area covered with like uh, coal and like bauxite ore because in real harbors if you go to real harbors you actually see they got like lots and lots of these bulk storage areas like with coal with iron or with other uh, types of that unfortunately we've got like three ores we can use that's like bauxite iron and coal but it still should be um, looking really nice after it's done. Okay, that's really annoying. Maybe I should do something like this with the road. Because I want the road to be as close as the to the building as possible. So what I probably should do right now is maybe some bauxite ore. And this one is... Oh, does it work? Oh, that will actually work. Almost, but still, it just... Yeah, I think it actually will work. So we're gonna go for upgrading the road straight away. So this is gonna be all concrete. So that's a really big benefit of this, that I can actually make this all concrete. First of all, we're gonna place like a couple more bauxite ore vicinities. And what I could do is like place like a couple of these uh, bauxite ore props. Oh yeah, that will actually make it uh, look a lot better. Just to make it look a little bit um, like it's supposed to be one giant stack of um, bauxite ore. The same goes for over here. It's not like one giant stack and that's really um, annoying. I could move like the props itself or like the buildings itself closer to each other. But that's something I don't want. Otherwise I need to place like uh, a couple more. And I think it doesn't look that good. So we're gonna go for some medium patches over here. And then at the end of course a couple of small ones like sticking out. And I'm gonna do the same with like the coal and like the iron as well. And we're gonna place one dump truck over here and then maybe a couple of excavators and of course like a couple of these ones, the front loaders. And then we should be fine. I mean, I can place a couple over here as well just to make it a little bit more even with like the other things, like the other uh, yeah storage facilities as well. And then it should be fine. Like. 
look at this. We got like huge amounts of storage for like bauxite ore, coal ore, and even iron ore. It looks really nice. I like it. The same goes for over here. Like lots and lots of these uh, storage facilities. Or we got like the storage facility for coal, and then we got like a couple of these uh, dump trucks. We even got like some excavators and some front loaders. And what I really like is like this uh, excavator over here is trying to snatch some uh, from the stash from over here, and he's just going over with his arm. I think, yeah, that looks really nice. That actually looks pretty cool. So let's move on because what we should do right now is maybe fence it off over here. At least we've got everything fenced off. And what I actually noticed while I was um, placing all these dump tracks and other things is this entire machine over here can go all the way to the end and uh, pick up some stuff. I actually place like these dump tracks and other things just to speed the process up because when the machine is all the way over there and you want to have like a small little load of coal, you can actually just go over here with your dump track and people actually just dump it in for you. And then you're on your way. You don't need to have to wait on this machine, etc. So yeah, we got like the entire thing, the entire uh, storage area for like the coal and stuff done. What we need is some sort of an office because you cannot run a business without an office. And the same goes for over here with like the harbor. So we actually need that. Um, I'm probably gonna build it over here because we don't have a lot of room over at this side. Especially what I want to do with this is I want to actually start off with building some sort of a train road. So we're gonna have like maybe a couple of these cargo terminals or even one, I don't know. Yeah, we're probably gonna go for like one cargo terminal over here. Okay, the entire thing is fenced off right now, so that's good. We got like a railroad yard. I actually need to put in a couple of trains just to make it look a lot better. But what I want to do first is actually uh, yeah, spruce this entire area a little bit up with like trees and stuff. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. So we're gonna go for a couple of uh, smaller trees. Not those bigger ones, but a couple of like small trees and vegetation. Just to make it... Yeah, look very nice. We're gonna go for a couple of these ferns. I think these ferns over here, yeah, it's actually one of my favorite uh, trees, except for this one. I really like this uh, tiny tree as well. Let me see, where is it? Yeah, this one. It's like the tree um, private or something like that. I really like them, and I used it a couple of times when I was um, building the yeah, garbage collection over here at the harbor and it just looks awesome. I really like it. Maybe a couple of grass will actually look a lot nicer. And right now I'm looking for some normal grass. Those grass patches will actually go really well over here. And then maybe one more tree at the end. And we need some vegetation. Some color as well. So we're gonna go for a couple of these uh, things what are they called bushes oh this actually looks pretty nice that's way too big maybe a couple of these just to spice it up a bit and what we also need are of course a couple of rocks because yeah I'm using lots and lots of rocks uh, maybe one over here that's actually not where I want rocks to be placed Gonna go for a couple of these smaller rocks. That actually looks really nice. I like it. And what we also could place over here are a couple of uh, broken down trees and other things. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go for like maybe a couple of broken down trees and stuff. Maybe like a small little car or like uh, something else like a small little broken down truck that's been there for ages. Something like that. That looks really cool. And of course we need some decal. So we're gonna go for a couple of decal patches. Right away it doesn't look too shabby. I like it. Especially with like these decals over here. It makes this area come alive a lot better. Okay, so right now everything is done. I probably should move these last things in position and then we got like a railroad yard done except for like the trains and stuff that's something I'm gonna place probably off camera in a little bit but right now it is pretty much done I'm probably gonna place this one close to yeah close to like the um, crane itself and it actually looks pretty nice what I probably could do is um, make sure we got like a nice little line of vegetation over here so people from over here couldn't yeah see into the rail yard. I'm probably gonna do that right now. 
right now we got that line in as well and i think like this entire railroad yard looks pretty nice so we got a little bit of greenery in like this entire urban jungle because we got lots and lots of concrete we got a little bit of greenery in this railroad yard actually that makes me really happy because yeah in any place there's still a little bit of greenery so that's good and what we probably could add in right now is the office itself. So like I said earlier before I actually went building this, I wanted to build an office. So we're going to build an office over here and maybe what I probably could do is add in a couple of parking spots. But we need to make sure that we got enough room for like cranes and stuff. So I'm probably going to build like an office over at this side. And this is going to be for cranes and stuff. So I probably should update those roads as well. So we're going to update these roads probably. So right now everything is like in concrete and stuff. And what I could do is maybe have some sort of connection over there. I'm just going to make sure this one is connected. So at least the entire area is connected. And we're going to build like a small little office. So we're going to go for like a small little office. And maybe like a couple of these. Uh, uh, what are they called? Like um, commercial buildings. I'm not going to place like this over here. Maybe. Maybe something like this. And then we're going to back them up a little bit. Yeah, that will actually, yeah, work. Yeah, that will actually work out great because what I want to do is have like a couple of these uh, tiles. So we're gonna go for some tiles, and maybe what I could do is use like um, that's not something I want to use. Actually, I want to use these tiles over here. So maybe like a couple of these things. Gonna copy them a bunch of times. Something like this. I think already it looks a little bit better instead of like having it having this building close to the um, yeah road itself. What I could add in though are like a couple of parking spots, and that's something I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna place maybe what we could add in is like a parking spot, like some sort of these. Um, parking garages this one is a little bit too big i wonder if i can have like a small little parking garage i think this one is a little bit smaller and it actually fits in as well so we got like a small little parking garage so people who work over here have like a small little parking garage that they can use and then what i probably could add in is like a small little fountain or something like that i don't know at least what I'm going to do is make sure this entire area is covered with tiles. That's something I want to place over here. So we're going to have like an entire area that's covered in tiles and stuff. And it doesn't look too bad. I actually like it a little bit of color. And of course we're going to use the surface painter because this would actually make a great alley. For yeah, people who are running late or something like that. Yeah, that will actually work out great. Maybe I'm just going to do something like this as well. One thing what I should add in though is maybe a couple of tanks. So at least we got like the ore collection and then of course we need a couple of tanks where we can store like oil and stuff. So we're gonna go for like a massive amount of tanks over here. And if it's possible like those really big ones. That's not going to happen apparently. I mean I can place a couple of these over here. I think they're, yeah, they're not intervening with the road, that's good. So just, yeah, okay, they're intervening a little bit with the road, but that's okay. So at least we got like a couple of tanks over here. What I probably could add in though are like a couple of smaller tanks. 
and maybe even like an oil refinery but like the oil refinery I probably gonna place over at this side that means I need to move the office once again <laughs> okay so we're gonna place the office properly over here and then I can actually place like oil refineries over at this side so it's really handy about the moving mod and I can just pick those things up and move them that's really handy about this mod that you can actually pick it up and you just gonna start moving stuff the garage itself will work as some sort of a barrier between the tanks and the office itself and it looks pretty nice I like it one thing what I probably should do is remove uh, a little bit of the surface painter before I'm gonna place the oil refineries over there something like this and now we're gonna actually place like the oil refineries because we need them otherwise you cannot make oil and stuff I think I got one over here that I can use yeah this one so I'm gonna place like three oil refineries over here with a little bit of space in between I'm not gonna place one over here I probably won't be able to place one over here um, yeah I think it not yeah it doesn't look that good it's a real pain to actually place these things but when they are placed they actually look really gorgeous just just look at this I mean just look at it they actually go really well together with like this um, building over here I cannot click on it it's really annoying I think it's this one yes yeah, this one like the oil refinery itself and then we got like the, um, then we got like these um, oil pipelines as well they go really well together I think they belong to the same set but I'm not sure about that one thing what I probably have missed and I just noticed that is I'm probably gonna place like one of these over here so everything is connected up at least yeah probably over here and then maybe like one straight thingy as well so everything is connected up that's basically what I was going for so right now everything should be connected up and it actually yeah it looks really nice I like it something like this we can actually place two of them over here that's not a big deal what we should do is maybe do something like this with like the um, pipes over here because most of the time oil ships gonna dock in over here or like cargo ships so with yeah with like ores and stuff so what you could do is probably have like a pipeline running from over here and I'm just gonna copy it to the other side as well straight into this um, area over here like it will pump itself into these uh, tanks over here and what we could do if it's possible yeah what we also could do is um, have like an entire line run over here and then probably run into here as well so right now the entire pipes are placed and I think it turned out pretty nicely so we're gonna lower this entire thing and let the, actually the water fill in this was something I was afraid of. The entire area when you um, start running the game where you're building a harbor is that water will overflow and especially after the last update um, when you see those icons and when they're turning red um, it sometimes um, yeah, can happen that the building itself in case this uh, seawall will get destroyed and that's not something I want. I don't know how the game will fix itself but I think everything should be fine right now. What I could add in though is like a small little ship at least I'm gonna try because what I would add in over here is like a ship with like um, some sort of an oil ship this one isn't is a shipwreck and this one is too big this one is a cargo ship I am NOT supposed to place like a cargo ship over here it would be awesome if there like is anything in yeah if there's anything in like the steam workshop to have like um, some sort of a cargo ship that actually delivers oil or an oil ship or something like that so this is what we built in the first episode of the harbor we actually completed at least one third of the harbor already so that's a good thing in the next episode I probably will be focusing on this area over here and after that I'm also gonna um, yeah connect stuff up but that's probably gonna be it for me today. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.